This is the hardest part, ha? Huh? Es un placer compartir esta, esta tarde con ustedes para hablar sobre el comercio y cooperación entre ASEAN y América Latina. Les ruego vuestra amable indulgencia ya que haré mi presentación en inglés. Okay, that's the hard part. I'll go. <laughs> Thank you very much and, and um, good evening to all of you. I'll be talking about the <clears throat> um, cooperation and trade between ASEAN and Latin America. We do have an, um, historical antecedents for uh, trade interaction between our two regions. Let me start with um, the Manila Acapulco Galleon trade, and this is based on the Philippine experience. This was in 1565 to 1815. That was for 250 years uh, there was trade between our two countries. So that although Southeast Asia and Latin America are on opposite ends of the earth, the Philippines can strongly testify to the long history of commercial exchange that has been going on between our two regions. Starting with the Manila Acapulco Galleon trade, which in many ways set the foundations for modern global international trade, we have made great strides in enhancing commercial linkages and partnership between our two countries. ASEAN and Latin American current relations. Today, trade between ASEAN and Latin America is increasing and the potential of both regions to further deepen this relation is immense. ASEAN today is acknowledged as one of the leading global growth engines, a dynamic center with a combined population of almost 650 million people and a combined GDP of US dollar 2.6 trillion. Our countries exhibit some of the most phenomenal growth rates in the world today, and with this increasing affluence and confidence come renewed opportunities for cooperation. In Latin America, Mercosur holds the potential to become a more dynamic partner. It has a combined population of 307 million people. Intra-Mercosur trade rich uh, US five billion dollars in the past years, and further facilitation measures are being put in place to help expand this important aspect of regional relation. At the moment, ASEAN countries are engaged in negotiations for the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, RCEP, another acronym, a proposed free trade agreement between the 10 member countries of ASEAN and the six uh, dialogue partners with which our bloc currently maintains free trade agreement. These countries are Japan, China, India, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea. Altogether, our countries collectively account for almost a full third of global GDP, that is uh, US dollar 28 trillion as of 2016. The RCEP is envisioned to provide a modern, comprehensive free trade agreement that will make trading among the 16 countries of RCEP as efficient, streamlined, and beneficial to all participants. Since 2012, there have already been 18 rounds of RCEP negotiations. At the interview-like meetings, at the intersessional ministerial meeting on the RCEP held in November 2016 in Cebu, Philippines, the RCEP ministers underscored the urgency of a swift conclusion of the RCEP negotiations as the single most important undertaking of ASEAN, which will provide a much needed boost to confidence for the global economy. The ministers also recognized the need to exercise flexibility in addressing the sensitivities and interests of each participating country and to respond in a positive and cooperative manner in negotiations. At the 18th round held in Manila in May 2017, these sentiments were accorded the highest priority. The potential consequences of a successfully negotiated RCEP for the global economy are understandably huge and manifold. First, it will open to other countries, after the conclusion of negotiations, a unique opportunity for growth seekers. And the second, it, it will be driven by ASEAN countries that 
that will demonstrate the increasing importance of our block in the future of the world economy. We know that Mercosur is negotiating a free trade agreement with the European Union as one of the most important political economic entities in the global arena. MND, Mercosur. According to both EU and Mercosur sources, the conclusion of the agreement is eminent. Okay. The Pacific Alliance is another initiative that presents potentially great opportunities for Southeast Asia and Latin America to improve trade relations. On 3 May 2017, ASEAN and the Pacific Alliance had a meeting on four priority areas, namely promotions of closer people-to-people -people ties through cooperation in education, tourism, culture, and sports. Argentina holds the key. With its long history of innovation in the agricultural sphere, in tandem with a reawakened re sense of what it can contribute to the world, Argentina is, usually, is, is uniquely Argentina is uniquely placed to put the two regions together. In 2016, we witnessed the first ever Argentine Investments Forum, a daring effort which demonstrated Argentina's seriousness to take its place anew as an important player in the world. This year, Argentina will host the 11th WGO <coughs> Ministerial Conference, further showing its commitment to move forward. In his recent visit to China, President Macri boldly stated that he would, be, he would like to see Argentina's out agricultural output double to U.S. 400 million, thus potentially making it a key player in global food security. At the recently concluded CL that during in Shanghai, China, in Shanghai, China, the Philippines was one of the big buyers of Argentinian beef products. Indeed, for the first time in many years, we are seeing a tonal shift in Latin America, which has begun to shed layers of protectionist policies in favor of policies that actively engage the world. The political changes that we are seeing in the developed world may just be able to provide the impetus for Latin America to discover Southeast Asia. The growing integration in our regions signals the start of a, traje a trajectory that could lead to greater economic diversification, <coughs> higher rates of productivity, and the forging of new values. Colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, we are part of this trajectory and let us come together to work on this great potential for cooperation between our two regions. Thank you and bye-bye.